How's it going boys? Today we are playing a Selenia aggro deck in standard and it is a pretty fun one because this is a buff type of aggro-ish deck with a planeswalker with late game potential and a lot of things. So it is very standard. You have some aggro things. You have Clarion Spirits to create uh, tokens because those tokens are very useful. They synergize with Toski because as soon as they hit you draw a card and he is the primal uh, primer a way for us to draw cards. We also have one copy of the Great Hinge. It is not necessarily needed, but it is a very neat card that you can put in. But if you want to take it out, take it out. It's it's not exactly a necessity. Just Tulski can sometimes not be reliable, unless you have a bunch of spirits flying around. So Clarion Spirit is great. A little bit of control with this card. And then the whole meat of the deck is Luminous Aspirant plus, plus Conclave Mentors. Instead of 1 plus 1, we get 2 plus 1s. And if we have multiple of these, then we get more plus 1s. Then we have Boss Recret, who also synergizes with it, which is pretty nice. And if you're lucky, you can drop a Speaker of the Heavens on turn 1, and then you can follow up with the Luminous Aspirant. That makes a strong and extremely dangerous Speaker of Heavens, and life's bounty for a little bit of protection. There's always chances with this thing. There's not too much life gain in this deck, but Speaker of the Heavens is pretty decent. Admittedly, you can swap out Life's Bounty and Speaker of the Heavens pretty much with almost all any one drop in these colors if you want so. So you definitely have options. So, then we have Boss Recret. Boss Recret, pretty good. Again, synergy with Conclave Mentor. He can be useful to gain life with, uh, with Speaker of the Heavens. He can do a lot of things. He can also create a bunch of tokens that can draw you cards with Toski if you uh, if you so uh, so want to. Also, there's a little bit of synergy with this. Sparring Regime. Sparring Regime has Learn, which is kind of the minimal part of it. But every time you attack with something, it gets a plus 1-1 one, one counter on it. With Conclave Mentors, that plus 1-1 one, one becomes bigger. We have Flying Things, so that's a quick way to overwhelm someone. And, you know, it's just a neat synergy, and it makes Toski just so much more deadly in the long run. One Great Henge, four Stone Coil Serpents, because they have Reach, and, you know, they're just a fine card all, uh, all around. And a bunch of lands. Mostly going for the plains, have a uh, have a couple of forests, and a uh, branch of uh, branchway pathways. 22 lands to be specific, and a 2.1 average. A pretty aggro-ish deck. But the deck has a potential to go into the late. If you're playing against another deck, uh, them waiting against you is pretty devastating. Because we have things like Scavenging Ooze that can become really big with Conclave Mentor. And you know, that it's quite annoying against graveyard decks that try to do stuff. <clears throat> so, bonus points all around to a degree. So, we're kind of all uh, well, very well all rounded, and the late game potential is there, as I always like it to be. So, without any further ado, boys, <clears throat> let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? Also, in the meantime, we have a new Patreon to uh, thank. Thanks you, Clayton, for becoming a Patreon. I greatly appreciate all you boys, and remember, if you are in the Discord and you still don't have a role, and you're a Patreon, uh, just do the thing where you whisper me, or at me, and it's done. Oh, look at this. Go first, a, a speaker, and a luminous aspirant. Honestly, I would kind of want to drop Clarion Spirit, but maybe that's secondary. Uh, the Chubbums plus the luminous... He knew it. Yes, this deck is literally that good. People figure out that, well, you're a life gain deck probably, you start off with Speaker of the Heavens, but then they see green and they know, oh no, absolutely no chances for the last dances. And they surrender. This, this is how great this deck is. But yeah, our opening was very good. If we got the third land and we could potentially uh, drop our good old Basri, that would have been devastating, honestly. Uh, but yeah. So, the deck is what it is. And, you know what? Ooh. Uh, Conclave oozes. Ooh, no green, but I do like this spirit. And we go first, so, you know, let's abuse it until we lose it. So, I do like, by the way, 
the aggro matchup currently in st standard ad 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 admittedly as long oh god look at this i really need that green boy land not gonna lie it's it's please wizards but yeah aggro matchups i think they're pretty okay oh conclave meant that instantaneously off the yeah <laughs> poker god Okay, <clears throat> well, let's see how it goes. Currently, he hasn't done anything exactly too drastic, dramatic, or anything in between or in the middle. So, can I get a green land or something else that rhymes with... Eh, this is fine. Okay, drop this. The scavenging oozes technically. Well, the same as this, but we're not generating any t uh, counters, so I might as well not drop him. There's a chance that he goes for the vipage and on turn. Jesus. This guy is, like, taking this real seriously with these main mind tomes. Uh, the problem is, while we are technically an aggro deck, we're not one of those decks that usually wins on turn 4. Admittedly, we 100% Oh! Imagine if I had a 4th land. It would have been devastating. Admittedly, I do not think that this guy possesses a 3rd land. Okay, now he does. I am a competitive gamer at the end of the day, so this should not surprise anyone. You may think that this was pure luck, pure coincidence, pure coinky dinks, but I say no. <clears throat> I am literally just this good as a player. And a lot of people are obviously envious of me, because they can't be that good as I am at children's cards games. What can I say? It's a talent, and not a retarded one. Uh, but it's a talent. Okay, onward we go. Couldn't leave it just... We're raking in the winds. Not gonna lie. Kind, kind, kind of like this. Kind of enjoy, enjoyful. No one's able to do anything against us. Is this the deck that will break the standard rotation? I don't know. Uh, you go first. Lurus. Oof. Man, do I want to go first? Uh, I think I, dr I dropped this. I don't know what he's gonna play with the Lotus Rogues. Rogues seem feasible. Though Rogues are question- Yep, that's Rogues. Well, obviously, uh, the crab starts first because reasons. Oh, but it's obviously Rogues. But I currently like our chances. We have an aggressive start, and if we get four lands, we're gonna get all the uh, things that we need. So, it's always- it's always neat. Seriously? Attacking with the Ruin Crab? Why do I have this ominous feeling that you are a really a big fan of the concept of me attacking? Well, let's drop this. Let's see what he does. Life's bounty. If he wanted to drop something that kills the Clarion Spirit, it's a no-go zone. I would not attack anyway. I kind of want the tokens. Because, well, we can, we can out-damage a rogue deck. We can definitely out-damage a rogue deck, potentially. Oh, yeah, he's thinking about it. Oops. Yeah, oops. Counterspell now, this guy. Come on. Don't be shy. I wonder if he's gonna actually do anything now. That's a good question. I hope he doesn't. And I... Yeah, that's that's kind of what I expected. Something... Well, not exactly this, but something like that was expected. I was not sure. Maybe he drops two... One oh, no, he can't drop two one ones. What am I even saying? Well, it doesn't matter. We still have the solution in hand. Okay. It's, it seems the game really is extremely opposite. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Well, ooh. <clears throat> Man, that great hinge. Not a good Fifi when it dies. Okay, do something that's... Mm, no, that's, that's bad. Okay, we're not in a good situation. Oh, come on. Uh, why do... <sighs> It's just annoying, at the end of the day. The fact that literally every single rogue deck in existence needs to start with a ruin crab. Again, if you do not know, the ma the magic of the gathering of a forced win condition for rogues is this. They will start off with four cards, specifically in their opening hand and, or, or, or in the next three draws. It's gonna be a mix of Ruin Crabs, 
Thief Guild's Enforcers or uh, Drowning Locks. On average, it's always four. So yeah, I wonder what he does against this. He can't really do too much against it. Okay, I really need that green land. If we get that green land, we can hit face and call it the place and more that. Dude, we're, we're gonna lose against the worst deck in the history of histories. Just because... Also, that's really dumb. Okay, we got this. Good. We can actually now draw stuff. That is a huge bonus at this point. Because I can't outscale him. Keep in mind, no, no, no. Not even surprised. <laughs> I am so not even surprised at this point. Okay. Okay, that's great. Dude, he's gonna mill me. He has the crabs, he has the things. Dude. Dude. I'm not even gonna block, it's pointless to block. We're not gonna get the uh, summoning cost anyway. Oh, that kills Delsky. Okay. And, you know, obviously our boy leaves crabs out of the picture because, you know, you, you, you don't. You, you, you just don't kill the crabs. Okay, there is a chance because there's a lot of things in the graveyards, and these things eat things in the graveyards. Admittedly, these three white planes are uh, extremely counterproductive to my current goals in life. Okay, uh, I I get it, game. I get it. That was what you call a forced loss. Uh, but yeah, man. People. By the way, I have ch I have been checking out a little bit of the Magic the Gathering Arena Reddit. Oh my God! It's like you click on almost anything, and. People are being mad about the forced of wins and losses. People are literally so mad about it. Like, everywhere. People just know it's happening. Like, seriously. Rogue decks almost always starting with... Uh, I'm gonna keep this. Almost always exclusively starting with a Ruin Crab. And then they have two drowns and locked or thief guilds and forcers in a second, uh, a second one. Oh, like pe people are mad about this. I don't know. When will wizards start to understand that they do actually lose people who play the game, and maybe games like this survive off of veils? It, it doesn't exactly matter a lot at the end of the day if it's a veil or not. If you will no have absolutely zero people playing the game. I don't know. It, it, it does seem kind of like a wonderful, uh, awesome to a degree. Uh, I'm gonna pay... No, actually, no, I'm not gonna pay anything here. I can just kind of do nothing here, I guess. We have two uh, takedowns, and we... Wow, I guess I'm best gamer in the world. Confirmed! Yep. Yeah. What, what, what? Did, did you doubt me? Did you honestly doubt your boy? You only can doubt your boy if it's uh, if it uh, it has anything to do with Liliana. Otherwise, you don't doubt your boy, because your boy does things, stuff, shizzle bizzle, bribble bibble, and whatnot. And we're gonna do this deck with three colors because reasons. Also soon, maybe even four colors. Who knows? I really enjoy decks that cr uh, put tokens on things. There's no, by the way, Oozalite here, but. Uzalite is a meme, as literally always. Okay, wow, look at this. Uh, more reasonable start than, well, technically maybe not reasonable. Scavenging oozes can be amazing, but they also can be pretty bad at times. It kind of depends a lot. Hello there. That's an interesting card to start off with. Not, not, not. Really, by the way, it's it. I just like the art. I do like this art a lot. It's the, the it is the best Strixhaven land art by far. And if you do not believe me, well then, you you should. Okay, this is a discard deck, which means I am not discarding those oozes. No way am I discarding those oozes. Okay, those oozes are gonna be my lifeline. Because if he forces me to discard things, like, you know, I'm just gonna eat them up with the ooze. 
We got like 30 creatures or something in this deck. So discarding things against the ooze, eh, kind of questionable. Depends on what he does. Oh no, it's enchant- wait, he didn't drop the- the uh, ooh. Oh, this makes things a little bit more iffy. Hmm. Drop this. And do the learn. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Do we want... Well, probably Pest Summoning. Pest Summoning is like the super easy choice here. Pest Summoning creates two things. And the, those two things become uh, two twos. Which is pretty powerful combo, honestly, on its own with this thing. Okay, wait, this is not a discard deck. Yeah, this is not a discard deck. I was lied to. Oof. I'm not enjoying that at all, boys. Your boy was lied to. Unacceptable. Okay, let's see how this ends. Does he have a good combo? That is the question. Because this is definitely some kind of combo deck with... Well, this is a Pez deck most likely, but I haven't seen Pez decks use Maya's Grasp. So he obviously has the one cost Eidolon, which is a problem by the way. If he dropped that and uh, just played the Myers Grasp on turn 2, I would be conceding because there's no chance against that. Which is, by the way, an extremely popular opening in Magic Arena. Not, not in paper. Not, not in paper. You're not supposed. To, you're, you're not starting most games with an Eid, uh, one cost Eidolon in this game. Ooh, do I even attack? Actually, yes, obviously. Lotus, dude, D dude. Oh. Suddenly, it's a little bit more fairer. Why is that, you may ask? Because this suddenly makes everything a lot worse for our boy. Because watch this. Uh, what do I put it on? Probably this. Yes. Now he has actually bad decisions to make. This will definitely not allow him to do everything. And... I... well... Okay, he blocks the- I guess he's just gonna discard the- I don't- I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, good, 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 good. So, he's gonna most likely just, uh, sell them which yet, uh, a, a bit of Lotus? Or did not- no, Lotus only worked for two costs. Oh, then I'm getting rid of the witch. That's absolutely fantastic. That's not just good, that's fantastic. Okay. I think he's getting rid of the Stone Coily boy, by the way. That is a big possibility. And actually, I really don't like that. But I have another one, so technically it's not all that bad. Or he's getting rid of the Conclave Mentor out of fears that these things grow huge. But I already have this thing. So this thing is gonna make it kinda good. It's a niche card, but it's a really powerful card when you get it. And that's a big thing. Okay, now obviously the best would be... The best would be, honestly, him just playing this. The Pest Summoning kinda cute, but it's not gonna do enough. Honestly, the Pest Summoning probably was a mistake. I didn't show the sideboard, but... Boys, it's Listen spells. You can throw... Oh, he got rid of... Oh my god! Oh no! I forgot I can completely destroy everything of Graveyard Resurrection with Ooze. Well now! Ain't that an oopsie. Yup, that's, that, that's, that, that's an oopsie. That's definitely an oopsie. Okay, uh, attack with this. He's not gonna block. And now this is a problem. <laughs> okay, so, it has trampled, my dude. It literally has trampled, my dude. It's not exactly the play of the century to actually do that, you know? But whatever, we did actually a horrible mistake. We we should have just gotten rid of his graveyard. Oh, that's that's painful. That that's what happens when you rarely use scavenging oozes because its art looks up. Like this art is so ugly. There's no question. Like, how do you people who actually play this game and try to take it seriously play scavenging news? Can, do, do you enjoy looking at this? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't look like a news. It, it, it... Well, maybe it looks like... I'm not sure what the oozes are supposed to look like, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like this. Oh no, pest summoning. So sad. Okay. Why is he not... 
Ah, uh, this, 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 this cozy? Did you? Did you just really just do that? Oh my god. By the way, I'm putting a 1-1 one, one on this because I don't want this to die more than this. And if he's using removal, it's obviously most likely... Well, he's most likely just using enchantment removal because of the Lotus. But now the Lotus is gone. I'm kind of surprised he actually does it like that. You know, he's using a Lotus in a, as a companion, and then he had... Man. You know, ca well, honestly, he had no chances if he used scavenging use properly. But you can't expect me to play this game properly. And you, you all should know that by now. I just play it for the fun. And it, this, by the way, seems bad art, but that's actually it's good art. Okay, wow. Oh, uh, talk, talk about stuff. Okay, that land is definitely a thing. Now I'm gonna put a counter on that. Okay, he's pretty close to destruction. Wait, was his play to play a Lotus and just... Oh my god. By the way, I have a really nice Doom Foretold deck coming up. I have a really, a really prime time, prime time, best time Lotus deck. Oh, that is so cute, I can't, I, I, I literally can't. But you know what I can't also do? This. What you gonna do now? 3 HP, what up, buttercup? Okay, annoying. Honestly, I, he, he has one card. I could play just, uh... Dude, there is absolutely no way you win at this point because of that move. There is no way. It's so over. But, well, it, it's obviously a card that you use, by the way, in tangent with Doom Foretold. And now just attack with everything. He need, He's gonna double block with this so it doesn't die, then he's gonna do that. His best play is getting an Ivich to, uh, to play an environmental science. And then... And then what happens? Nothing. He needs to get rid of the Stone Coily Boy. There is so little this guy can do currently at the moment, it's just quite disgusting if I do say so myself. But that's what you get for playing this avatar. I have zero respect for anyone who uses this. <gasps> oh my god, he wants to try and combo. Dude, he wants to try and combo so badly. You want There's no way, my dude. Give it up. Like, give it up! You're probably not even any from any country that uses this as their language. Come on, dude! Also, there's always someone who can translate what their names mean. So, please, someone translate this in the comments. There's always someone who literally translates these names as strange as that, maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. One top. Oof. If you... There's there's nothing you can do, my friend. Nothing. You can This has trample and it's a six six. This is a flying three three. There's 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 nothing. A night witch, ecstatic as they say. Uh, still not enough. A lotus of the dream. Still not enough. Cute. Oh God, Tolski. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Uh, let me just think. Yeah, let's just do this. Actually, did not think, as always. You should probably assume that I never think. Oh, uh, but it's fine. Okay, what do you do now? Oh, yeah, that still goes through. Yeah, and the, the Lotus still dies. It's kind of funny. Doesn't really matter, but yeah. Dead? Zero HP? Actually, one, eight, minus one? Oh, be oh right, because uh, the pe the pest didn't give the life, and it's a rank up. Look at this, we're making progress in the world of magic. That's kind of scary, uh, but despite that, great, more wins. So you see, matchups like these are kind of enjoyable. Again, red decks just currently ruin it with Ember Cleave. If you're playing against a red deck and it's a, st a standstill, I hate it. Because it's literally just we're waiting until the point 
when the red deck is gonna declare an attack and just play Amber Cleave on something, and then you lose. Oh, Amber Cleave, such a disgustingly obnoxious and stupid card. Okay, Conclave Mentor, this thing in a boss recret. You know what? I would call this. Let's pretend we're green. <laughs> yes, the evil pretending that we are. Ooh. Man, that gives us other options. Okay, so here. I am literally amazing. There is no way anyone else in Magic gets this treatment as me. The people literally see my name and they're just... I don't even care. I'm just gonna concede because it's our boy. You can't play against our boy. It's like I concede against everyone who uses the name Kaiba. You can't win against Seto Kaiba, my boy. He is the best Magic player in the universe. He doesn't even play magic. Still the best, though. That's admirable. Okay, let's see. Go. Ooh, this is not bad. Yeah, this is not bad. Okay, start off with the Chubbum supply drop. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Four lands into a Toski. Whoa! New plan, boys. New plan. The Ultra Chubbum's invasion. It's the... Chubbamasian plan. Oh god, he actually did nothing. Oof, he's gonna be pretty mad about that one now. Okay, what do we want? You know what? We honestly probably want this, yes. Should probably put more of these in, uh, ones in, but it's fine. Dude! No one expected the Chubbam's invasion. No one was prepared. They all... They all thought Chubbums was just a funny little bunny. At the end, no one was laughing when the blood started to fill their streets. Oh yes! No one was laughing then. Actually, should have not attacked with this. But, your boy is not exactly a caring person at the end of the day. And, well, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I tell you it's a niche card, but it's amazing when it happens. Surrender, my poor little sap. Oh, my God. This actually disgusting. That's that's quite the conundrum to a degree. Oh, uh, but what are you going to do? I don't see any black in your deck, so what, what up? Like, what's the play? Oh, my God, the play is... Wait, no, what then? Oops. <laughs> okay, maybe that was not the play. Wait, I can just attack with everything and call it a day. What up? What now? Spanky emote. God, that's a lovely emote. Okay. Bringing it back like there's no tomorrow, my friends. Bringing it back like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. We're doing stuff and it's great. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing stuff and it's great. Admittedly, you know, one thing I do want in this deck, and I, I think everyone knows that I want this in this deck, it is obviously Strixhaven, uh, this little creature feature. Shyly Dean of Ra uh, Radiance. Because it can be really good, you know. It's like you drop him at turn two, then you go drop a Conclave Mentor, suddenly it's a 4-4. It's like really powerful. Theoretically, I could like remove two boss three crits and like do it, but I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it seems a little bit niche at times, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of that a little bit of a niche of a thing. Eh. It's fine at the end of the day, but you know. Yeah, I would love to have it, but I'm not sure if I can actually fit it in. Uh, ooh, that's my hairdo. Okay, and by the way, no, I'm not just putting him in my deck because he stole my hairstyle. Does this, did this work with cycling? No, at least probably not, I honestly have no clue. Okay, so white and red most likely. Wow, no one, the what, the my, my, 
My man! You should probably not do that. That's, that's, that's dangerous games. That's some real coy danger stuff right there. Okay. Okay! Yeah, seriously, how about stop? Oh, wait, that actually triggered it? Annoying. Okay, uh, plan B. Plan B is called drop this, see what happens. Drop this, attack. Oh, should have dropped a planes. Oops. Okay. Oh my god, seriously? Is is that really it? Well, I like how our current losses have been against literally the perfect hands. Which is always hilarious and spunky. Okay, at least this is a thing. It's invulnerable! It's, it's, I don't think it's honestly gonna be enough, but there is a small chance, I guess. There, another one! At least don't proc it, my dude. At least don't proc it. Oh, wait, everything on boss secret? I'll take that. I'll take that as a business expense. Okay, not bad. Uh, drop it like it's hot. Okay, is there a chance, is there a world where we actually survive this so magically, how? This does not look good, but I have been in worse situations and lost worse, uh, be much, much easier. Okay, I kind of think that, well, he's actually also uh, getting land flooded to a degree. How do I want to do this? Dude, I need to like, dude, do what? I need to get rid of this. There's no question about that. As sad as it may be, there was no question about that. That needed to be slewn. Are you kidding me? Wizards of the Coast. I'm sorry, but you know, do you, you even have a conscience at this point? I don't think you do. But on the other hand, see what I mean about the Sus becoming a, like a, a real big thingy? Okay, let's... Uh, the, Tulski attacking is also actually a big, big problem. So, the good part is... I can actually force this to survive. The ooze is not gonna ki get killed unless... Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, good, 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 good. By the way, this is a Venota deck, if anyone did not know this. That's, that's really bad. He can literally just wait at this moment in time, and Venota is just gonna... Okay, this is, like, not even funny. <laughs> This is, like, not even funny. Eat the boss secret, my child. Okay. He technically needs to block. He technically needs to block those. He didn't block those. What happens if I get something, like, really good? That's not really good, but that's at least useful. Okay, now I have three blockers. If you do not draw Venata, honestly, you're not in a good place, my friend. You're not in a good place, my friend. Okay. Oh! <gasps> That's exactly the opportunity I was looking for. Wait. It dies. I get to H. Dude, he lost. 10 out of 10, he lost. I get the HP first because it ha- Well, I guess it doesn't matter exactly how it happens. Uh, but yeah. He lost. 10? Out of 10, my boys. And I continue to draw lands. I'm kind- I'm kind of really good at this, not gonna lie. And protection against white. Let's not misclick this like that one time, okay? Yes, nice, indeed. Lillian Spanky emote. <laughs> yeah, boy. Undefeated champion. And you, and people ask me why do so many people just pledge your uh, their undying souls to your goals and causes. Mostly because I tricked them into it, but this is like a pretty god good second reason, by the way. The fact that we're absolutely amazing. Oh, boys! Look at this! 
We're just slaying things left and right and center. It's amazing. Haven't we played against this guy? I'm assuming it's only one person in the world who uses that avatar. Oh, why, oh, oh, why not? It's a chub I'm sent to an luminous aspirant. Ah, uh, man. Oh god, it's a chubbums into a luminous aspirant into a busty cret. You know what? That's even be Wait a minute. I smell the death of a chubby a chubbums. Oh god, that's actually also good. Okay, is Chubbums dead now? Because the moment he actually becomes a 4-4, I understand that a uh, red deck has problems dealing with it. Spike field hazard. I, I literally could smell it. Okay. Does he play? No. Okay, in that case, Bossy Cred, go. Make me proud, you hair do stealing asshole. Make your boy b make me proud. Also, by the way, again, the minus two is seriously strong with this boy right here. Bad Wolverine cost. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Bad Wolverine cosplay, still a great card. Oh god, wait, is that really it? Oof, that's not bad. Well, it's technically kind of bad, but there is a chance that he does nothing. Imagine if we get the emblem here. Because killing this is like a serious, like, this is a huge threat. It's a 5-5. Five five. It's like... I'm the only person pretty much in this game who makes a red deck and uses the 5-5 five, five damaging thing. Everyone else like caps themselves out at 4 damage and calls it a day. What? I'm, I'm sorry, what? What, 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 what? How? No. Oh. I even said I'm no Dude! I have not seen a soul seer in ages! No one uses soul- Okay, that makes sense, suddenly. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, no one uses soul seer. The fact that's- uh, Like, I I'm, s I'm just assuming here, you know, spitballing. But, but I'm like, very, very sure that he accidentally put, put soul seer in his deck. Soul Seer just does not naturally happen in the world of man. Also, I am probably gonna go for... You know what? The counters, yet again. Admittedly, I could have went for the land draw, because we have this for the next turn. Look at this. Tulski, our boy, attacks. Gets more powerful, and now... He can protect. And now he's out of the range of Soul Seer. And I draw a card. Oh god, a luminous ass. That's pretty good. Okay, loom. I have a bad feeling about this deck, not gonna lie. Seeing a spike field hazard, soul seer, fierce prophecy, and maze mind stone makes me think only one thing. Not exactly Brash Taunter, but uh, that he 100% though has an Ogin in his deck. Though Brash Taunter, I guess, is kind of ex expected at this point, considering what else we have seen here. Okay, so what's the point? We buffed this now. Okay, he can literally win this stupid game now by just the virtue of having a Brash. Dude, Brash Taunter is such a random card. And it's honestly a bad card nowadays. Like, there's not enough. I can't win against it, though. That's that's the sad part. There is no way I can win against it. Like, the cards we got completely count. He can just fight two times and it's over. God, Brash Town. He probably has only one copy of Brash Taunter in his deck, by the way. I, I am 100% assuming that instantaneously, that there's only one copy of Brush Taunter in the deck. Okay, actually, wait. What happens if I don't kill Brush Taunter because I don't have any cards in the deck that can actually kill Brush Taunter because I'm never assuming that I will lose a game because we're fighting a Brush Taunter. Okay. Well. 
Ain't this a peach? No, seriously. Well, I guess... 100% though. There's a Nugin in this deck. I can guarantee you. Anytime you see Maze Mind Stone in a red deck, there's a Nugin. It, it is like pretty much a constant thing in the world. Also, why hasn't he killed me just yet? He doesn't need to do any of this. He can just, you know, attack, call today, blah blah blah. He can do it two times. Okay, I guess it's over because he figured it out. Okay. Yep, he figured it out, boys. He figured it out. Why? I guess that's okay. Well... I... There's... No... Okay. There's no way he has more than one brush taunter in this deck. But yeah, there... Anytime it's a red deck with Maze Mind Stone, there's a Nugin in it. Because I have done literally the same. <laughs> if you're gonna put a Nugin in a red deck, you're gonna have Maze Mind Stones. And you don't build a red deck with Maze Mind Stones without putting in a Nugin in it. Ah, oh, well, that was unexpected. No, seriously, did not expect to lose ever to a Brash Taunter deck while playing standard in this format. Well. Whatever. So, this was Quizzer Sensei. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out everything. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.